Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can download a table like this in Wikipedia into your Excel spreadsheet. Now, Wikipedia may not be the best source for, for pulling data from, but it can be a good starting point for any sort of research you're doing. And so I'm going to show you how you know you can you can use this and put it into into Excel. I'll do the manual way of copying and pasting and then cleaning up the data, and then I'll also do it through Power Query. So if you just wanted to copy and paste this into Excel, you could do just that. I'm just going to select the first 25 rows here and switch over to my Excel spreadsheet. And because it's already formatted as a table, I could just press Control V and it's going to bring with it some some formatting, right? We've got some some images in here, so we've got a lot of stuff that we we don't need. So I'm just going to expand this out a little bit. So this first column Column B, there's nothing in here, so I'm going to delete that. Easy enough. Now, column D, there's not really a lot of data in here. There's only a, f a handful of rows here that have anything, so I'm going to delete that one as well. You'll notice I've got these flags indicating country, and this can be a pain to, to delete this. You don't want to do one by one because that's, that's a bit of a painstaking issue. So hit F5, Special, and select Objects. Hit OK, and now all of those objects are selected. And I hit Delete, and they're gone. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these hyperlinks because I don't want to actually click on these cells and accidentally open up a Wikipedia page. So I'm going to select these, these columns, right click on any one of these links, and select Remove Hyperlinks. Boom, and they're gone. Another thing that I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to get rid of this formatting because I don't want uh, any of this formatting, so it's, it's a bit cleaner. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is, you'll notice on a lot of Wikipedia pages, you'll have these uh, sources cited within these square brackets. So I'm gonna get rid of that as well. So I'm gonna select, um, actually Control F, go to replace, and I'm gonna select the open brackets using asterisks, which basically means anything in here. So I've got an opening square bracket and a closing square bracket and an asterisk. So what that means is anything between those opening and closing square brackets is going to get removed. So whether there's one number, whether there's two numbers, regardless of what's in there, any sort of reference, it's going to get rid of it. And I'll replace it with nothing. I just want to replace it. Boom, there we go. So that's that looks good. Now, the one curious thing is these two values here, they they are still aligned to the left. So that tells me that these, these aren't reading as, as numbers. And you can see there's a gap there. There's a space. So what I can do is say Control F. Let's try to replace that with an empty space. Place all. Nope, not working. So what's the problem? This is These are, are not our typical space again. Um, this is my, my dreaded friend, character number. 160, which looks like a blank space, but it isn't. And this is a character you might become familiar with, especially if you're copying data from web pages. This is a common um, issue that's that comes up. So what I can do is copy this value. I'm going to Control F again, and then I'm going to paste it in here. So it looks like a space, but it's not 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 the same sort of space. Just adding a blank, and I think I still included that initial space. So I just want to include that one character 160 that I copied. Place all. There we go. Now they're aligned to the right. They all look fine. And I'm going to add some dollar signs just to double check. And another way to check that they're reading as numbers is, whoops, I'm going to create a formula here that just says plus one. Copy this down so everything looks okay. So that's how we could um, download this from Wikipedia. If I wanted to adjust the formatting, let's say I wanted everything to look like this, use my format painter here, copy it down, and now everything looks a bit consistent. So it's not impossible to do it manually, but it is a bit uh, bit time consuming. You really need to know what you're looking for, especially with those, with those blank spaces to clean that stuff up. So another way I'm gonna do it is through Power Query. So I'm gonna grab this link, and now, go under data, and then select from web, 
that's where I'm going to pull my 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 query from. And once this loads up, what I'm going to do is drop that link into into the Power Query box. Okay, so now it's populated. Control V. I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to start looking for any tables. So I'm going to hit connect. So it's connecting to Wikipedia. Establishing the connection. And now we'll see, okay, we've got document table, which really doesn't have anything. And we've got table zero. And this looks like what I want. Before I'm going to load this, I'm going to hit the transform data button. And now it's going to load up the Power Query window. And here I can make any sort of transformations that I need onto my, my data. So I'm going to open this up here. And similarly as before, what I'm going to do is get rid of this, get rid of this column here because I don't need that. This one as well. I'm going to remove that. And now the only thing really left to do now is really just to clean up these values that have the number of, locations because some of these have let's say pluses after them so what I may want to do is select the option to replace values so what I'm going to do now is look for anything with a plus sign and again replace it with nothing hit OK now that looks to be OK so let's try to convert this into a whole number and I've got an error here so line 45 here. So this one, so I'm going to undo that step, go to row 45 here. And that one had this, this tilde sign this uh, after it. So I need to do another replace values on here, just, just for that character uh, as well. Place that, and now let's convert it back to whole numbers. And everything looks fine. I don't have any errors. So the benefit of going through Power Query is it's going to repeat these steps each time you refresh the query. So I'm going to hit close and load. And now it's going to generate a table for me right here. So now if I ever wanted to repopulate this list from Wikipedia, I can just right click, refresh, and it's going to re-download that table. And so if there's been additions or changes made to it, it'll follow the exact same steps. So it'll it'll get any plus signs, any 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 of the characters that I uh, adjusted for in the Power Query transformation, but by by doing it this way, it's a lot easier and requires fewer steps than than going through the manual way where you know you've got to do the, the finer in place for the for the blank values and those those other adjustments. So it can be a bit uh, a bit quicker using Power Query for sure, just because you don't have to deal with the hassle of copying and pasting. And once you've got the link in there, it's easy to update.